What's up guys? Welcome to this POV review by Autotop NL. My name is Max and we're here today at the Autobahn with this Peugeot 308 GTI 270. And we are here because we haven't driven this on the Autobahn yet or at least not in the POV review. So we thought let's do that because this is the facelifted version and I am looking for the spec sheet. There it is. So, blue magnetic with coupe franche or in proper French, coupe franche. Uh, so we have the rear end is black, the front end is blue. I think that blue looks really, really good uh, with dark gray wheels, red calipers. And this is the main thing I found that they changed about this car. So we have a new grill in black with Peugeot written in red with a new design and these vertical things at the bottom of the grill with this red thing. So yeah, I think, you know, with that blue, that looks really, really good. Uh, we have got a couple of GTI logos as well. And this is one of my favorite parts about the car because this exhaust is so well built, so well finished. And I mean, this is the part where we can truly applaud Peugeot because there are AMGs and BMW M cars and Audi RS and S models. There are a lot of cars that have a uh, an exhaust system or at least the, the or at least the rear silencers the end pipes the tailpipes that are just not as well finished as this because this looks really good it looks great in the bumper but it's just you know it's the real thing you see there's no other exhaust in inside the exhaust exhaust inception so uh, in the interior, I am struggling to find any changes, um, but we have the touchscreen with the Peugeot system, which is okay. It's not great. It's not the most ergonomically uh, well-built system, but it's, it's fine. It's a lot better than before, at least. So let's start it up. And well, this is, so I just told you that I really like that exhaust. Uh, that's something I really love about this car. Something I really hate and I know I shouldn't start with this again, but it's just something that really annoys me. This steering wheel is so ridiculous in combination with those in combination with those dials up there, that gauge cluster that's way up high. And at Peugeot, they say with this eye cockpit that you have to, firstly, you have to do your seat. So, you know, adjust your seat the way you want to sit and then adjust your steering wheel so that you can see the dials, which would mean that I would sit like this which is just totally unnatural. It's way too low and they should have changed it. I really think so. I think this is, it's just not the best driving position. You want the best driving position in a hot hatch is the steering wheel like this. Yeah, so don't like that. And another thing I really don't like is that when you engage sport mode, the dials change to all red and the rev limiter is gone. I've said this before, but this is a facelift, so they could have changed it, and I don't understand why they didn't. And it's gone. There it is, and it's gone. Stupid. Okay. So, enough with that. Let's go on the Autobahn. I haven't driven this, actually. Uh, not today, so... Oh, wait a second. Yeah. 
So this clutch is really light. Uh, the gearbox itself, it's changing gears, it's very light as well. So I have to get used to that a bit. So let's do a little launch. Right here. Traction control off. Yes. Okay, there we go. A lot of wheel spin. As you might suspect. Oh my god! Did you hear that? <laughs> oh my god, I just engaged sport mode and I was truly frightened by the sound that's coming through the speakers. Okay, so this is with sport mode off. Sport mode. <laughs> what the? Oh my god, that's ridiculous. see how fast I'm going because the steering wheel is in front of the dials and the GoPro as well now but so fifth gear at 160 or something like that I mean this is quick and the thing I love about this car is that it feels so light, it feels so aggressive. And you have to, you know, you have to fight the car for traction for to keep it straight when you have some bumps in the road, especially at high speeds. This thing feels so light, it's ridiculous. Oh, limited slip diff doing its work there. Wow, this is really impressive. Um, I'm not joking, I haven't driven this car yet. Martijn drove it to the Autobahn. Oh, it just feels so light and aggressive. It's lovely and it's just that you know hot hatches these days have to be two things they have to be a great hot hatch and have to be great fun on a b road and you know maybe on a track even but they also have to be a great car to drive every day because that's what people want these days they want cars that can do everything This is just, you know, it's a nice car to be in, uh, it's fine, but this is a true, true hot hatch. It knows how to go fast, and that's, that's the main focus of this car. So, even though this is a facelift, we still have the same power, 270 horsepower, 330 newton meters of torque. 0 to 100, 6 seconds, top speed 250. If you want to see the regular review of the pre-facelift uh, 308 GTI 250 and 270, you can click up here. Uh, because we have done a review with both of them together, driving them back to back. So if you're interested, you can check that out. And yeah, we just wanted to drive the facelifted version on the Autobahn as well. And, well, there is really nothing that gets close to this car when it comes to driving 
fun, like challenging driving. I don't, let me think, what, what can you get for this price? I mean, you're in like Golf GTI performance money. So I think this is, this is quicker. It drives much better. I think the interior is a bit less refined than the Golf is, but I could definitely live with that. And I think it looks great. Yeah, I think this is a, this is a great, great old hatch. Apart from those little frustrations I discussed earlier. slip is so good it's a torsen unlimited slip differential and my god this is just ridiculous <laughs> man that's impressive okay so there you have it guys a little quick pov review on the autobahn i hope you liked it you can subscribe by clicking on the little icon in the bottom right corner and you can follow us on social media. Just search for Top NL for updates on our activities. So I'm going to end it here. And I hope to see you at the next one. Bye, guys.